Hi everybody, my name is Caroline. In this video, I am setting up Magic Mirror, but without the mirror, number one, I'm going to set up my Magic Mirror as a photo frame instead, and it's going to cycle through a group of photos that I can dynamically update through Google Photos in an album. Now, this is a pretty long project, and I'm going to split it up into five parts in order to make it a little bit easier for me to get through this. Um, so part one is today. Part one is just a basic setup of Magic Mirror itself, uh, just starting from complete scratch. Um, let me get you excited about what we're going to finish with. We're going to finish with a photo frame that looks like this, and it's going to have the time, the current weather, the weather forecast, and my schedule on it and it's going to cycle through all of my photos. And that's what we're going to have done by week five. In order to get to this number one, week one, which is today, is just Magic Mirror from scratch, and I'll go through the hardware that you need. I am choosing to do this without the actual mirror itself because I just don't have a two-way mirror, nor was I looking to purchase one. I'm just going to use what I have. This is the final product. This is week one. Week one, we're just going to get Magic Mirror going, and we're going to have the time. Week two, we're going to add Google Photos, and it's going to look like this, and you're going to be able to see the photos scroll through, and you can dynamically update these photos from your smartphone without having to log into it. Now, in week three, we're going to add a weather API from openweather.com, and we're going to have the current forecast on our photos. Optionally, you can also add the weather forecast, and that is part of the same module. We'll do that in week three. Week four, we're going to add the calendar. And then in week five, I'm going to pull it all together. We're going to do an auto start so that every time you turn on your Raspberry Pi, it automatically starts this photo frame. And I'm going to show you how to control the individual modules and be able to turn off your Raspberry Pi from your smartphone. I hope that sounds great to you. And that's the overview of my Magic Mirror Without the Mirror tutorial series. Let's get started. To get started with this project, you will need a monitor. I purchased this 10-inch monitor from Amazon. I will link to it below for about between $60 and $70. It does not need to be a touch screen, as I don't believe Magic Mirror has touch screen capabilities. To set it up, you'll need a keyboard and a mouse. I'll use a wireless set right here. You will need a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or 3B. This is a 3B Plus, I believe. You will need a micro SD card. I'm using an 8 gigabyte micro SD card and I do recommend that you have a case for your Raspberry Pi as when you finish this project you'll have this I imagine sitting on your desk or on the counter in the kitchen and or you can hang it up like a magic mirror but you will want to have your Raspberry Pi attached to your monitor uh, somehow just to clean up the look of it. I won't have that cleaned up in this video. Uh, this video is a tutorial, but I do recommend that you have a case and then you can attach the case using Velcro hook and loop to your, the back of your monitor, and that way it's just it's one unit. Uh, you won't need the keyboard and the mouse after you complete the final setup. You'll just be using your monitor and your Raspberry Pi 3B or 3B+. You will need your SD card to have a fresh copy of the Raspbian operating system in it. I will use my laptop here to flash my SD card, and that is my next step. We are starting with a fresh install of the Raspbian system. I am at raspberrypi.org, downloads Raspbian. I will link to this in the description field below, but this is where we go to download the latest copy of the Raspbian operating system. I am going to select Raspbian stretch with desktop and I'm gonna download the zip file. And it will take about five minutes for this to download, so I'll be right back. We have completed the Raspbian download. Now it is right here in our downloads folder. Our next step is to flash our micro SD card with this Raspbian operating system. Now my computer has a regular SD card slot, so I'm going to insert my micro SD card to an SD card holder and then insert it into my computer right here. And then I'm going to open up uh, Etcher. It's a free download and I'm going to select my image and it's the latest version of Raspbian, open, and then it automatically found my 
micro SD card. I'm going to hit flash and this will take a few minutes. I will be right back. We have completed flashing our micro SD card. I'm just going to pull it out of the computer right here, remove it from its sleeve, and we are going to get this plugged in in the next step. Let's get our Raspberry Pi all plugged in now. I'm using an HDMI monitor right here. I've got this powered up and I've got an HDMI cable coming out of there. I'm going to plug in the HDMI cable first. Next, I need to make sure my micro SD card is inserted properly. I'm inserting my micro SD card right here. I am using a wireless mouse and keyboard. I'm going to insert my USB dongle right here. And last but not least, we've got to power up our Pi now. And we're booting up for the first time. Now we have a fresh copy of the Raspbian system working for the first time on our Raspberry Pi. A wizard pops up and it will walk us through updating our Raspberry Pi's Raspbian system here. I'm going to hit next and it's going to say what country am I in? I'm in the United States. I'm going to put United States, American English, then I'll select New York as my city, and then I want to use a US keyboard. And then I'm going to hit next. So this is a pretty standard setup that it will walk you through in order to uh, update the system and make sure it's ready to go. And then you want to change the default password. And you want to get it set up on the, on the Wi-Fi. Finish setting it up on the Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to check for any updates to the Raspbian operating system. And this will take a few minutes uh, to download any updates that may be available. We have just finished rebooting our Raspberry Pi. We've installed all the updates. They look great. Now I'm going to open up the web browser and we are going to install the base package for Magic Mirror. I will need a web browser and I will need my terminal to perform this action. Now from our web browser, I'm going to go to magicmirror.builders and this is our base website to see the magic mirror and get that code. From magicmirror.builders, I'm going to scroll down and you're going to learn everything. This is the best resource for magic mirror. Scroll down and it says easy install. Yes, that's for me. And I'm going to take this line of code and I'm going to control C to copy and then I'm right click paste into the terminal and wow, it is just starting to install itself. And this install, um, according to the Magic Mirror page, will take between 10 and 30 minutes or more to finish that install. I will be back. And we have successfully installed Magic Mirror onto our Raspberry Pi. And it says, do you want to use PM2 for auto starting? I'm going to hit yes, enter. And it's going through another round of installs of PM2. This will just take a couple minutes. I will be right back. And we're ready to go here. We have co successfully completed our installation of Magic Mirror. It says uh, run display zero npm start to start the Magic Mirror from the directory. I'm going to type in pm2 start and it is now starting up. And this is the default configuration of Magic Mirror. And you can see in the top left hand corner the day and the time, military time and it's got U.S. holidays, the next U.S. holidays, then uh, what you see in the middle bottom of the screen where it says looking good today, that is called compliments. That's a module. You can customize the compliments it gives you. And then on the very bottom, you'll see New York Times 36 minutes ago and their headline from 36 minutes ago. So that is an API call that they're making that goes uh, on the bottom middle of the screen. So those are the things that are automatically configured when you get the first installation of Magic Mirror. Now keep in mind this is made for you to uh, put a two-way mirror glass upon and then you can hang it up and, and use it as a mirror. So it's, it's blank right now. In this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the time and then we're going to comment everything out. We'll just have a fresh clean screen to go into our next video where we'll be putting up our Google Photos. To stop this I'm going to hit Control M minimizes Magic Mirror, and then we're still on the terminal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, comment everything out. I'm also going to change some of the parameters of the time. And I'm going to open up a file manager. Now there are a couple ways of doing this. You can do um, a text editor in the terminal command. I'm going to use a file manager. I think this will be a little bit easier for me, a little bit easier to see. So I double clicked on Magic Mirror. So from the default of my file manager. I double clicked on Magic Mirror. Within Magic Mirror there are 
uh, different config files. I'm going to double click on config folder and then I want to open the config.js file here and I can open with and I'm going to select G-E-A-N-Y, Genie, as how I would like to modify this file. I'm going to hit OK and uh, here is my file. Let me make this full screen so it's a little bit easier for us to see. And here is the config file, and here's all the things that we can configure about it. So first of all, yes, my language is English, so I'm going to leave that exactly as it is. The time format, as, as you noticed over here, is it's in the afternoon now. It's military, what I consider military time. I just want AM, PM, so I'm going to control M to make that smaller. I'm going to change this to 12. And then units, I'm going to change this to Imperial because I'm in the U.S. We use Imperial here. And then the modules, there's a lot of modules. So clock is what we see right now. It's in the top left. We're going to leave that. Calendar, I don't really need that. I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. I don't need compliments. I don't need current weather. I don't need weather forecasts. I, I'm not interested in the news feed either. And then I'm going to close my comments. So I've really commented out everything except for the clock in the top left. And I've changed my... Um, time format to 12 instead of 24. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this out. Oh, it is it is going to automatically start. Okay, uh, we are done with week one of our project. We loaded the Raspbian system on our Raspberry Pi. We did updates and then we loaded the magic mirror and this is setting us up for next week when we'll add our Google Photos. Please stay tuned. Meet me back here next week and we will continue this magic mirror without the mirror tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.